Let God hear you. Tell God your pain. Tell God your sorrow. Tell God your fears. God knows your sorrows. You may feel that everything comes crashing on you. He is listening though you cannot see Him. Let God hear you. As you close your eyes, tell the Lord what you feel. Tell the Lord what is in your heart. Is it fear? Is it sorrow? Is it pain? Tell Him right now. He wants to hear you. He's listening. I want to give you a short moment to just tell the Lord what you feel right now. Do not be afraid. Do not be ashamed. Never think that we cannot approach God. We can. God waited for David in the cave of Adulam. And I know David poured everything to God in that cave. Thank you, Lord, that we can come and tell you everything that is inside us. We can tell you about our pain, we can tell you about our sorrow, and we can tell you about our fear, our fear today. Many of the, many of the people today, they are so fearful. Many are panicking right now. Even the poor ones, kaluluoy gits sila. But no matter how poor you are, you have a great God. Now, after you have told God everything, let praise rise in you. Just praise Him. Just thank Him. Because when we choose to praise God based on who He is, instead of what our circumstances are, good things happen. Good things happen. What are those things? What are those things? Good things that you want to happen to you? It will happen when you praise God. When you let praise rise in you, even at your cave right now. And lastly, let your ear, ears listen to God. Listen. God is speaking. God is telling you something. Listening to God produces the fear of the Lord. And the fear of the Lord brings goodness and peace, deliverance and salvation. God can turn your sickness and affliction to blessings. We will sing a song. Let God hear you. Let praise rise in you and listen to God. God is our refuge. before you, a spiritual altar. If you want to kneel down before God, even you want to worship the Lord with us, do it. Yes, Lord, and I will not be moved.
some of us today, our spirit is crushed. Something happened and you do not know what to do. You are tempted to keep it to yourself. But no matter how, how much you try to keep it to yourself, you are just bursting with anger. You are just bursting with disappointments. You are just bur bursting with hurts. So today, why don't you let God hear you? Tell the Lord. Tell God. Tell God like what David did. Sing this song one more time. Uh, I will bless the Lord forever. Yes, God, because you are my God. I will trust Him at all times. Trust you, Lord, at all times, oh God. He has delivered me.
we are going to allow God to speak to us. Wherever you are right now, you listen to God. God wants to tell you something. God is telling you something. For a moment of quietness, as the musicians just play the instrument, let God speak to you now and listen. Don't just hear, listen. And even as you have heard the sharing today, God wanted you to listen. Is there anything that He wants you to do? Yes, Lord. We invite you to speak to us. We invite you to speak to us, O oh God. Asking you to forgive and heal us of this pain. 
We also want to unite together and pray against COVID-19, this pandemic that is spreading in the world, especially in the Philippines, that you will stop it, oh God, so that the people will stop living in fear. They will stop living in panic and worries and let vaccines be produced soon, oh God. But you are our healer. You are our healer. We pray for our province and city that COVID-19 will not penetrate it. We plead the blood of Jesus upon the lintels and doorposts of our households right now. The virus is forbidden in our families. Cause us to live in faith as children of the living God, O oh Lord. Because we are children of the living God, we will enjoy life to the fullest. We thank you, O oh God, for your presence today. We give you all the glory and praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Let's give glory to the name of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord.